everyone happy sunday i bring you another lockdown vlog but i love watching people's lockdown vlogs anyway just because um it just makes you feel a bit less alone which is really good these days i ordered a couple things and i got sent a couple things first off i got a matching set from princess polly this is just a tracky set because i live in them i'm wearing it with leggings right now but these are a bit dirty but i've been wearing them for like days um these are the matching trackies and they have the little logo there and then yeah i got these in a size 10 and this was only available in a size 12 but i'm glad i got it in a size 12 because i wanted to be a bit more oversized i also ordered some stuff from mecca i got it in like the sustainable packaging to why it looks like this just in a cardboard box this is the little sample i think i already have a sample of this and um i love this i've actually had the full size product before so love that i have a little sample size of that what i actually ordered was the mecca max beauty bullet just because i chucked out all of my beauty blenders because they were so cheap they were just from um kmart and i feel like in the summer i love applying my like base makeup at least with a beauty blender and yeah i just didn't have one and this one had really good reviews as well and i believe this was only nine dollars so love that the next thing i got was also from mecca max actually all of these things are <laughs> i was like hang on all of them are i got the whiplash tubing mascara that's the packaging and then there is the actual tube and i just got this in black so this also had really good reviews excited and then i was heavily influenced by cardia milan because she used this in one of her like videos i don't know if it was like a pure like makeup tutorial i can't remember but it's the off duty blush stick in moody and she used it as like a blush and then also like a lip tint and i have another one of these and it's in like a really really bright pink color so i thought i'd try this out and it's probably better when i'm tan because obviously like on paler skin it might come out like really dark so i'm excited to give that a go and then i was kindly sent a uh face mask to try by hey bud i've seen them all over instagram and you probably have too hopefully that's okay lighting anyway this is a cute box it comes in it's all green and then it opens up like that and then you've got the applicator brush inside so soft by the way then you get a little note and it says Thank you for trying Hey Bud. It would mean the world to us if you could share it in a post slash story and tag Hey Bud Skincare. Have an amazing week, Hey Bud team. And then the actual mask, of course, came in this little box. Sorry, I know, like classic, holding it up to focus. Not on my head. Anyway, I hope you can see that. Sometimes I do this and I'm like, oh my god, it's so clear. Um, but it is an Australian hemp clay mask, cleanse and purify. I haven't used it yet. I want to try it tonight and then I'll actually try it um, and like show you guys uh, a bit later on in the week when I have like my pamper day on Wednesday probably. So you just open it and then this is the packaging there. It's really cute. I love the like pastel green. So it just says apply evenly to clean dry skin let the natural high soak for up to 10 to 15 minutes gentle gentle <laughs> gently remove mask with a warm wet towel and it's made of hemp kaolin it's vegan has avocado oil goji and it's cruelty free oh it smells so fresh it smells like a spa i changed my room around again if you've been around for a while you'll know that this is something that i do like every few months it's really good with my last like change of room <laughs> uh and that was around for like a good few months and now i change it again i don't know how i keep like changing it and then feeling like it's new when i've probably tried this a thousand times but i will show you guys what it looks like now just shove these over here you're actually resting on my little paw paw ointment but this is what it looks like and my whole thing of changing it this time around is because I wanted 
be a bedside table each for my boyfriend and then for me um, because I hate having to put like my water bottle on the floor or like the remote on the floor or we just keep it in the middle of the bed and then it gets lost so I have my little plant here and then I've, we've got my boyfriend's bedside table he's just got water bottle his watch moisturizer headphones and then I've got like my little decorations on the side and then we've got my bed obviously I pulled out like a really old kind of like a bit grossly balled up doona but I thought it went really well with like the whole white aesthetic and then you've got my dirty clothes bin my tv my drawers and then my little poof and then my mirror which is in a bit of an awkward spot because my bed's like right here but I think it's quite cute and the lighting doesn't affect it too badly and then we've got my little hanging macrame thing now I've got my bedside table, which is a bit messy right now, just because I chucked those two packages there. But when they're not there, it's basically like what it looks like. So I'm still working around this like orange book kind of like sets off a weird vibe, but I really love it and I don't know where else to put it. So yeah. And then of course I've got my walk-in wardrobe, but that's normally closed because it's ugly in there. But yeah, so <laughs> this saves me from like having breakdowns, I think. This is like my form of breakdown, but my battery is flashing, which means I've been talking for way too long. Um, but I'll catch up with you guys a little later. Good morning, guys. Well, I'm in my PJ, so I don't know if that's like restricted content, but I'll do this. It's 7.45. Um, my alarm went off at like 7.30. I'm still working from home. I don't start until 8.00. Now I'm just going to go have a shower, chuck some trackies on. It's a real gloomy day today. Excuse my gross windows. Like, that's the sky. And yesterday was, like, literally beautiful. So, yeah. That's Melbourne for you. Uh, yeah. Let's go get ready for work in my lounge room. <laughs> also, a reminder to make your bed. It literally takes two seconds. Um, and just clean up your spaces. It just feels 10 times better. So, yeah. This is the fit for today. A little tracksuit set. This is from Princess Polly. And these socks are from Kmart. That have a hole in them already. Anyway, let's go do some sorry if you can hear my dad in the background he also is working from home and at the moment i have like the little door that connects the kitchen and the lounge room open um but i just made my protein iced coffee which is the best i normally have my hot coffee um first thing like before i have anything else but i felt like a protein iced coffee the protein powder that i'm using is um the iced mocha latte from macro mike i'm still going through my um sample packs of them today this morning is pretty quiet which is really good just gives you a chance to like, catch up on everything because like the middle of the week is probably the busiest um but it keeps me on my toes especially working from home i feel like things can get a bit repetitive uh which they certainly are but yeah let's check the cases today i'm a bit scared have they even put them out yet? Oh, 71 new cases. Sorry, my screen just fell asleep. But yeah, I feel like most of us are doing the best that we can. And um, trying to put other people's lives in front of our own still. It's just really difficult. So yeah. Alright, I will catch you guys later. Bye. It is 10.38 right now, and I just made some oats. The sun has decided to come out a tiny little bit. It might have just jinxed it, kind of just went away. Why is my nose so red? Anyway, just made a coffee. Um, this is just the caramel latte sachet by Avalanche. And then I just put a bit of almond milk in there to cool it down. And then I thought I would never really have something this like filling right now um but i kind of want to have lunch a little bit later this is the blue dinosaur hand-baked protein chocolate bar the protein though is very high there is 24 grams of protein in here so i'm probably gonna have half of this and then half of it maybe a bit later um and it's 234 calories so going to try this i might as well just try it 
now. It smells nice. I'm just gonna break it. Not really in half, anyway. I'll just have this smaller half and show you guys what it looks like. So it literally looks like a brownie. Mmm. Yum. Funny story. I just finished eating. <laughs> and I didn't show you guys. Basically, it literally got to 1.30 and I was like, oh, I think I can wait like half an hour to have lunch. Like I wasn't that hungry. I was just kind of like thinking about food. Um, and then I went to go, oh, do I have pumpkin soup literally on the corner of my mouth? Probably. Um, I went to go heat it all up and I was like, cool. And then I came in and literally scoffed it. Like it was on my plate and then it was in my mouth and gone. Um, so I didn't get to film it. It was pumpkin soup, like homemade pumpkin soup and like leftover pizza from last night which isn't that exciting all i had was like the pizza base tomato sauce like passata um ham cheese and some sriracha mayo on top i added after the microwave obviously oh fuck so i just broke my camera hi guys it is now like what time is it um quarter past four and i have finished work and I'm just gonna have like a bit of like an afternoon snack. I've got the rest. Oh, you're joking. Just dropped to my bed for the rest of this protein bar that I'm gonna have. And then I have a Sprite No Sugar. I don't really like need this in my system, but I kind of wanted like a hot chocolate or something, but I didn't really feel like it. I don't know. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Um, as you could tell from last night, I literally was about to eat my dinner and I was like, are you kidding? You dummy. You're freaking filming what you're eating. So I ate that and then I forgot to film dessert. Um, I have the tub of like the light and creamy um, vanilla and caramel like swirl ice cream, which is going to pop you down here. I get really bored of holding it in my hand. Um, and we had like half of a salted caramel cookie left so we just halve that that's what i ate yesterday today might be a bit different because uh, i really feel like toast but i also feel like oats and it's a really big dilemma on what i would rather um and i also don't know if i want my hot coffee or my iced coffee coffee first guys first world problems i know but like these are the issues that we face at home like this is what becomes like a issue for me how pathetic is that um it's not really an issue i'm being a bit dramatic but yeah uh so that's all i have to update you on i'm not eating anything yet i'm gonna go fill up a water bottle because i left mine upstairs and i'm that lazy that i don't want to get it i thought i would just quickly update you guys i made like a little lemon and cucumber water i'm just watching smiley citrus Good morning everyone. It's now Wednesday and I've been up for a while. Pfizer became available for my age group which is like 16 to 39 um, and the bookings were meant to open 7am today and the website has crashed. I've been trying since 7. Um, I've been trying calling the hotline and everything and everything's just completely busy and it is now 8 45 in the morning um so yeah, i've been trying that since i got home this morning which is at like six and yeah i haven't been able to book anything and people like most people that i know haven't been able to either the website completely crashed like everything to be expected i need to go to the shops i'm already way behind schedule i had so much to do um so yeah i'm gonna go to the shops because i hate going when it's super busy i'm gonna come back home i'm gonna go on the treadmill probably because i like to do that in the morning get over and done with before i do anything but obviously i was doing all that this morning um and yeah i just 
didn't i'm gonna get changed out of my trackies i might just leave my jumper on to be honest and just put like leggings on or something and um some runners and then we're gonna go like i said already behind schedule but it's a really beautiful day today the sun is out um and yeah let's go okay i'm finally back from the shops and in the car i remembered that i well i remember that i forgot to get prawns for tonight which is like really annoying so i might have to go back to the shops just the one local to me later on but i can't be bothered going now i got a father's day card for my dad and then from the vitamin shop i got they sell macro mag but only like not a lot of products um i got the protein powder in snickerdoodle cinnamon swirl flavor and then from Coles, i got some bread this one's the stone baked light rice sourdough it's so yum um is this one sliced <gasps> no i'm so dumb some shampoo got two bags of quick oats and then this is the marinade that i used last week on the prawns which were really nice and then oh my god <laughs> the lighting so bad um I got these chicken breast schnitzels. These ones are the um, ones in cauliflower and herb crumb. They are really good. Some extra lean beef mints. Got the connoisseur gourmet ice cream minis, salted caramel and macadamia, just because these were on sale. Two Chobani fit protein yogurts, vanilla and strawberry. I just got some shredded lettuce. So that's everything that I got. Good afternoon guys, it is now 3.30 and I'll chuck over some like clips while I'm talking but uh, from when I last spoke to you guys, um, I went on the treadmill, I booked, finally booked in for the, could you see like my sideburn then, that's gross, um, finally booked in for the Pfizer. I had lunch, I quickly tried to make lunch before I jumped on a meeting, it's my day off, but we had like a training thing, so I was like, eh, one hour, I'm at home anyway, and then I can just take an hour off um, later in the week or something. Uh, and now I can finally wash my greasy hair. First, I want to put it in a hair mask because I haven't done that in forever. I look like an egg. I have hair, it's okay. Just popped the hair mask in, and I thought this would be the perfect time to talk about hey bud skincare so like i showed you guys earlier in the vlog i think it was maybe on the weekend let's apply this mask and then i'll wash it is this a good idea when i have a jumper on i'm gonna have to wash it off before i go in the shower i was gonna say i'll wash it off in the shower um but i'm pretty sure the instructions just say to yeah gently remove mask with a, a warm wet towel and you leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes so basically the same time as i'm kind of going to leave this hair mask in i might leave the hair mask in for like 20 minutes but i'm gonna get a timer ready for 15 minutes and i'll start that once i've applied this so kind of like usual packaging i just open it like this and it's already been touched because I've already used it. Because I wanted to try it out for you guys before I like recommended it. Um, first off, it smells like a freaking spa. I like couldn't believe it. It's just beautiful. Literally reminds me of like avocado dip. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle trying to apply it on camera. But I just get some on this brush. And I like to apply it on like my problematic areas. But nothing with like an opened wound i guess or like a really aggressive pimple i always see the worst applications like i had to take a photo for hey bud for instagram and mine compared to everyone else's like i can see why i didn't make it onto their instagram page <laughs> i'm gonna press start on my phone <laughs> and i'm gonna go watch this because i learned from my mistake last time and we're gonna leave it on for 15 minutes and i'll check back when it's dry and when i am removing it from my face okay it has been 15 minutes let's go <laughs> my face is so stiff lovely flannel it i'm gonna wet it <laughs> so 
freaking hate when things get like water gets down my sleeves and I always wear big jumpers so it's my fault. And it comes off so easy. I'm probably irritating my skin because it's not warm. Whoopsie. This is one of the least messy masks I've ever used. It comes off so easily, it's amazing. I'm gonna take the rest of it off and then I'll check back in. Okay, so I have now washed all of it off my face. My nose is so red because it's so cold. Um, but this is what it looks like. And as you can see, the difference between my face and my neck, it definitely gets rid of like the dirt off your face. Um, I didn't really put it that close to my hairline, so that's why it's a bit orange up there. But amazing. I mean, my skin's so sensitive that it freaking reacts to everything. Like, I'm already red. But I'm excited to keep giving this a go and seeing how it works for my skin. So far, so good. I'll leave all the details down below as well as the discount code. Um, and yeah, I really recommend go checking it out. They sell stuff in bundles too, so you can get like... A lot of their products were a bit cheaper if you buy them all together which i think is a great idea to like test stuff out um but yeah that's my review on the hey bud skincare hemp mask and i love it so definitely recommend <laughs> i'm out the shower now i normally plait my hair after the shower but i can't really be bothered doing that um and i applied some fake tan to my face with some moisturizer and I reckon I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, this has probably gone on long enough. So, didn't really blend it in properly, did I? I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying well. And, yeah, treat each other kindly. Because all I've been seeing on social media lately is people literally bashing each other on their beliefs and everything. Like, you can't control anything except for yourself. So... Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys have a good week and I will hopefully catch you guys next week with another video. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are not and like this video. And yeah, goodbye.